Hello, welcome. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be talking about something called the majority algorithm. Basically, what this does is it goes through a list of data, and if any elements in that list occur greater than 50% of the time, that is a majority element. So, greater than 50%, not equal to 50%, strictly greater than. Okay, so. How does this work? We have a function that does it for us that I made. And you're going to learn how. It takes a data stream. <clears throat> uh, there are various ways to implement this. This is for, you know, pedagogical purposes. So, we set the majority equal to none and the counter equal to zero. And then we iterate over the data stream. Now, this could be just like a bunch of stuff in a text file. It could be any kind of file. Um, but the good thing about this is you're only keeping two things in memory. So if this file was like a terabyte, you could read it line by line from disk. It would be slow, but you wouldn't really have to use hardly any RAM or anything. So low memory requirements. So if you need to do like one sweep through an enormous file, uh, this would be pretty good. Okay, so how does this work? For each item, if the item is the majority, increment the counter. If not, and the counter is zero, set the majority item equal to the item we're looking at, and set the counter to one. Um, if the item's not the majority item, and counter is not zero, like it's one or more, then we just decrement this. And I'm gonna print this out each time so I can show you what's happening. Item, majority, counter. And at the very end, I'm gonna return the majority. Um, so here's how I'm gonna fake a data stream. <clears throat> I'm gonna make a list. Uh, for those of you not familiar with the syntax, when uh, you put something in a bracket like that, that makes it a list. And when you multiply lists, that means um, you're adding that list like to itself 10 times. So this little thing here is essentially going to give you a list of length 10 uh, where all the elements are 5. So 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5. five. And this is just going to give 0 through 9. So 5 uh, plus just concatenates two lists. So this whole thing is going to have 11 occurrences of the element 5 and one occurrence each of the elements 0 through 9, excluding 5. And then I'm going to pass that list into this little stream function, which does some generator magic. And the way this works is you pass in the items you want and the number of the essentially the length of the stream. Um, so this is like a synthetic stream. Uh, set i equal to zero, and then while true, we're going to yield a choice from this list of items. Choice is just a function from the random lib that uh, takes a random sample of one element from the list. So this is going to yield a random sample and then okay when you call this once the first time this is going to get called this will get evaluated this will yield and then it will stop and nothing will happen until stream gets called again. When it gets called again I gets incremented, and then we need to do a little test. Um, essentially, when we've seen 2,000 of these things, we're just going to stop. So this will generate a stream of 2,000 random elements selected from these items. And then we're going to pass that stream to find majority. So here, we expect the majority to be 5. Let's see. 
Look at there, it's five. So let's start here. This line. What's being printed out is item majority counter. So here the item we're viewing is five. Our current majority was five. So this gets increment. It used to be 271, now it's 272. So in the next line, we see a two. The majority is five. So these are not equal. And the counter is not zero. So we're going to decrement the counter. It used to be 272. Now it's 270. And that should be it.